This is Starfield, and I am Jackie Melange. We're here with Vasco, our robot friend. We being the royal we, which is us. We're taking the scenic route to the lodge, owned by Constellation. It's kind of like the Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, except space is involved and magic relics. Johan is the guy we meet, who we highly enjoy meeting as well. But at the lodge, we're going to meet a few people. They're going to give us a main quest, hopefully. And from that main quest and from some stealing of dinner plates, sandwiches, and, their, and all of the above, we're hopefully going to make some money. But to make some money, we have to have a person named Sarah Morgan follow us, which means we lose access, at least for now, to our friend Vasco. Goodbye, Vasco, for now. We fast forward in time and we meet Jack the bartender because we have not even explained what our quest is. Our quest is not just to talk to Jack the bartender, but our quest is to find where Sarah's friend is, Moira. But to pronounce it easier, we are going to call her friend Moira, Moana. Moana is much easier to pronounce. This bartender we are attempting to interrogate nicely via guilt tripping the old fashioned way. But my persuasion, which I have no skill at, which I am not skilled at, is not working. Therefore, Sarah Morgan, who may or may not be carrying any cash, my, assume, my assumption is that she's not carrying any cash. She is going to try to help me talk through this and get me a discount so that I can pay for some intel for her to find her friend somewhere in the depths of space so that we can make some money. Why do we need money? It's an age-old question. No clue. We need money, though. But to make money, we gotta spend money, and we just spent a thousand dollars to find her freaking friend. So we leave. We insta-travel like it's Game of Thrones last season. We try to dock at a star yard, but we don't know how. So we go into the old relic named Google to find out what buttons to press with our minds. So we dock dramatically and have to fight some space people who are wearing helmets indoors. Not sure if it's fully necessary, but I do eat a sandwich. That's a spacer right there. And the spacer is so enraged that he runs, he or she, no clue, runs into bullets. Just as Sarah Morgan walks into bullets and we realize that her friend is not on that station. So we do what we should have done in the first place and go to find a ship, which has been invaded apparently, not only by this giant vacuum, but also by these ecliptic people. Although I try to use stealth to get past the ecliptics, stealth is not in the picture because I didn't realize my companion has melee superpowers. A haymaker and an uppercut to the gut. A haymaker, an uppercut, and elbow. She's almost like Robert Whittaker or Israel Adesanya. Maybe even John Jones with her abilities and skills mixed with a little bit of Amanda Nunez and some Thug Rose in her. So because of her skills, we're able to get into the cockpit, meet Moana, pretty much save his ass. He's just sitting there not doing anything. No obvious injuries. If he actually tried to get out, there would be some scars and and bashes on his face. But it seemed like he just laid down and didn't do much, just uh, hid in his seat. Or outside his seat, rather. But all we really want, I realize, is not even him. She's not even, he's not even Sarah's friend. We just want the artifact that he has. Because the constellation demands artifacts on top of this circular barrel thing of some sort because this rich man in a suit Walter who is a CEO of some kind demands it fake news by the way you should probably play the game to really figure out the story here as we jump around and as I hopefully track mud across the whole lodge Sarah is happy I do not know if Sarah pays me which is the whole point of this experience but she is no longer following me so I can get back to my buddy Vasco Vasco does not have lasers or leadership as skills, 
Nor does he really engage in much action. I think he'll be fixed in the next patch. But Vasco's Vasco's. Buddies are buddies. Best friends are best friends forever. And until next time, until the next part of the journey, enjoy the starfields of Starfield.